All right, guys, this is a video for uh, my buddy John Ord. He's just started tying. He's wanting a video of the simple F fly to tie. So I said I'd do it for him and uh, post it for him. What I'm going to be using is a uh, Camasan size 14 Olive Vivas 17 0. Some natural CDC, best CDC there is. For one of my good pals, Mr. Richie Anthony. Never been tampered with, proper stuff. And some olive, golden olive, Dublin. So, I'll just get started for you. Just tighten that up. Let me see that all right. Right, let me st start the thread. And then, I'm going to carry it all the way down just to in line with the barb or the point of the hook. I, um, I do debarb my hooks. Um, But I'll normally buy the debarbed ones. But I'm just going to use the, the rest of what I've got left. Right, get some dubbing. It's probably one of the simplest flies and yet one of the deadliest flies to tie. So, just put that on your thread. Just wrap it around, but <clears throat> as I said, John, just keep tightening in the dubbing after every wrap, and then so you get a good body on it. If you make a mess up, start again. There you go, see, didn't need a lot of dubbing for this. So that just trim the waist. Trim that body up a wee bit. Right, like I said, simple as anything, takes minutes to tie. And then when you get your CDC feathers. What you do is if you line them up at the tips for a size 14, if they're good CDC, then three's enough, in my view, anyway. Just make sure they're all lined up and just pinch them out, gives you the wing. And you're left with that. <coughs> now, what you do is, when you put the CDC on, keep a good hold of it, just sit on the top of the shank of the hook, and then do a pinch and loop, but keep it tight, and then do another one, and then just tighten that up. Just keep doing a pinch and look so it's locked in. And then make sure that wing's sitting on top of the shank of the hook like it is there. Just make sure it doesn't turn around. And just tie that in. I sometimes usually like to put a couple of wraps under the wing. I'll lift it a wee bit here. And then give it the waist piece. Let's make 
sure everyone's all tidy for you there. Have you heard? Because of the this. Right, those. That's looking pretty good. Didn't be afraid to add any more CDC. Because you can't go wrong with it. And then, do you have it finish up? Couple of turns there. Make sure that's all tight. And then you can either use uh, resin for the head, varnish, um, I use the uh, Deer Creek stuff, absolutely brilliant. But I shall use some uh, varnish tonight, just vineyard varnish. Just get a wee bit of that on the needle. And like I say, John, that's only took not even five minutes, mate. So, and like I say, it's one of the most deadliest flies you can get, and yet probably one of the easiest to tie. That's it. See if you can see that a little bit better. I'll take a picture and show you once it's done. So I'm doing this with my phone, so. But that's it, it's the Olive F fly. Um, if you want any other patterns, I've got a business page, Emmy Fly Tying, on Facebook, or you can go to my YouTube channel, just type my name in and subscribe to me, and I'll be putting a video on every week, starting for the basics, for nymphs upwards. Thanks, guys, cheers.